Yeah. There's like this natural tendency when, when we record a show or like with the content that you see of like, you know, Hey Pete, what are your like business tips to being a successful founder? And I just feel like it's like you can give someone the exact playbook. Most people aren't going to do it. I think what you're talking about is finding this like motivational focal point that's so strong that it like pushes you towards where you want to go. So you're right. Like your thought process is, dude, if I don't get this stuff dialed in, this is going to, if I don't have our supply chain dialed in, if it's not super high quality, whatever, if we don't have customers coming back, that's like another opportunity for someone to either not purchase a sauna so they're not getting healthier, or maybe they're going to go overseas and get something that's just manufactured in China. Like those are the stakes that you have to have with the business yes. that you're doing. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm a big believer of just doing it the right way the first time. And if we don't do it the right way, I'm going to own I'm going to own that mistake. I'm going to take full responsibility. I'll make it right for the customer. Yeah. It's a sauna, which means it's a wood product. There's many working pieces to it. You also have the heater. You also have the creating. You also have the shipping. There's a lot of, mm. a lot of nuances to it and things are going to naturally happen. And we're really, really big in making sure that you as a customer are hundred percent happy because again, I genuinely care that you have a great sauna experience. Mm -hmm. Otherwise I would not, I would not be in this business. Totally. That's just who I am. And our entire team embraces that. So we always make sure it's right for the customer. And it's one of the reasons why so many people are now investing into Sisu is because they know that they, they expect quality and mm. it's going to be done right. Yeah, I think you're going to like this. And I want to get your thought process on this. But I've been spending a lot of time thinking about just like this negative, almost like psychological manipulation of of not wanting to pay for quality and wanting to pay for convenience. So I think there's actually a lot of parallels between the saunas you're selling and like regenerative meat in general. Mm. And what I mean by that is we've been so negatively conditioned through like processed food, which is meant to be as cost effective and addictive as possible. And even just like cheap budget meats that come from a feed, a feed lot where the animals are fed corn and soy, it's really yeah. destructive for the environment. There's this weird psychological conditioning where I can teach you about regenerative meat but it's still like, but that regenerative meat is $9 a pound and then there's four ninety nine. And what I've been trying to get myself into the mindset of like, dude, this meat should be more expensive. It is so hard to finish an animal on all grass. The energy that went into that, the nutrients that the meat is going to provide you. It's red meat should, good quality red meat should objectively be more expensive, right? So it kind of reminds me of a, a Sisu because I'm sure that there are some people when they see the price point, they're like, know, five to 10 K that's really expensive. And it's like, no dude, there's no better way to spend your hard earned dollars on a high quality product. That's actually going to make your life better too. Yeah. And that's where our society is at as they see the dollar amount. They don't necessarily see the feeling that they'll get from it. Mm -hmm. And people need to be more in tune with their feelings when they're, you know, the difference of how you feel of a good grass fed, grass finished meat. Yes. Compared to one that was processed there's a fine, fine difference. Mm -hmm. You have energy. You wake up in the morning feeling incredible. You sleep great. Your workouts are better. You're more productive. You're more clear in your thought processes off of a piece of meat. Yes. That could have been two, $2 more per mm -hmm. pound compared to the processed meat. But again, because we lean into the dollar amounts and not actually how we feel, I don't think people realize that if you were to actually invest into like the quality of what you're consuming, mm. you're going to be wildly more productive, which means that your value for time as an entrepreneur, value for time as a husband, value for time as a father drastically improves, mm. drastically increases. And so I always think about what is my value for time worth? Not necessarily in terms of, of dollar amounts, but in my terms of, of effectiveness and, um, I'm losing my track of thought, like uh, more so like a, effectiveness and my ability to make people feel fulfilled. Yes. Right. And so simply having a better quality piece of meat or having a better sauna or having um, fewer options of clothing, but more quality options of clothing make me feel better. Yes. And that feeling makes me way more productive. That's such a good point. And isn't it like it's the best feeling to reward someone that has that artisan mindset too, like going to a local coffee shop, knowing the barista or the coffee shop owner, knowing that they're sourcing their beans intentionally. It's like, yeah, I might pay a little bit more money, but it just feels so good. Or going to a rancher or paying for a Sisu sauna, like that feeling of rewarding someone for the effort they put in yes. or in your friends. Like I couldn't think of a better way to spend my money, honestly. Yeah. And I think that the small businesses are the backbone of America. We all know this. 
And the more that we're able to support one another and support your, your friends' businesses, it's going to make for a much, much better uh, community, especially like our local communities. And yeah. Where, where we're from in Cleveland, it's an incredible food and coffee scene, great bar scene as well. But there's so many great coffee shops that are locally sourcing their, mm. their coffee beans and like handpicking them and really going through the process and present them in, in the right way. And they have them in the right mugs. It's the whole mm-hmm. experience. It's the whole experience. It's the, I mean, the experience counts. 